do some shit. Jessica Jones and Luke Cage could kick some ass. No, they have look. The thing with with Marvel is like Black Widow is getting her own movie. Why? She has no powers. No. So it's not a question of can they hang. They can hang. It's that they will never cross them over ever, just because they won't. It's a bummer. They're dicks. It's annoying. Yeah, just, guy. The, just the, show them. You don't even have to have them. The do Marvel. Much. The Marvel shows are. There's so much more cool, interesting stuff happening in the shows because they're just they're just better. Yeah, so well, TV's a better medium for a lot of this type of storytelling. Damn it, TV's a better medium for what Marvel is doing. Yeah, I don't think anyone understands that. It, it's like Marvel is making a single television series that comes out one episode a year for the past ten years. Yeah, it's a crazy. That's all it is. It's a TV show. And it actually, Infinity War is like that concept to its maximum extreme because it was like six episodes of a TV show. Yeah. It was a miniseries. It's all it was. It was, it was miniseries the movie. On this episode of Infinity War, Gamora and Thanos find the cradle of the Soul Stone, but an unexpected visitor gives them bad news. I liked that unexpected visitor. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I was like, "Oh, hey, it's that Red was, Skull!" And oh, oh spoilers! Oh, what? Spoilers. Oh, have you guys not seen Infinity War, <laughs> the most popular film in the fucking world right Wait, now? Do you give a shit about? I don't like, care. Spoilers? Okay. Okay. Spoiler alert for Infinity War is going forward. Yeah. But yeah, Red Skull is in it, and I was that was the one thing that I was actually surprised <sighs> with. That was the one thing I was like, Danielle was like, Danielle, look, she's like, what the fuck are you doing? You're yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. My, the Holly was like that too. It was like, oh, I guess girlfriends don't care about this. <laughs> this is the his appearance is literally guy shit. <laughs> that's what I said you were supposed to do. You were like, two I can't hold on to it. Danielle, two out of two girlfriends do not give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good sample rate. I mean, come on. <laughs> I took statistics <laughs> on, online. <laughs> <laughs> two out of two girlfriends. <laughs> I uh, but okay, but yeah, so I was kind of like, oh, that's interesting. So if we're gonna spoil Infinity War, sweet, because I can, because then I can talk a little bit more about that other stuff. Yeah, fucking, fucking, <sighs> no one, no one dies, guy. They're all like, everyone died. No, they didn't die. You dumb shit. They just stopped existing for a year until the next movie comes out. They just stop existing until they decide whether they want to re up their contracts. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing that I was reading is that they were like, well, the only the, aside from some of the other weird side characters, the original Avengers are the ones who were left as well. Yeah, that's all who's left. Yeah, so they were like, okay, so the next movie is going to be like the original team, when you know solving so, a problem. Yes, it does the so it saves the day, and then some of them die. Who do you think is actually going to really die? Because they're going to kill somebody. Off. Uh, I'm pretty sure Avengers who are going to die, um, Iron Man. Yeah, he kind of has to. Not Thor. No, Thor has some life left in him. But he's going to be done. I know, um, I, but, but Ragnarok was so Hulk successful. Hulk is going to die. I think what they're going to do with Hulk is they're going to make it so there's no more banner. It's just Hulk. No. And then they can just CGI him up all the time. No, they're, they're going to get rid of Hulk. I mean, I guess. Because he's, he's, he's become too much of the answer to everything. Like, this is the first movie where he wasn't the answer. Yeah, he had, uh, he like, had performance uh, anxiety. Yeah. Is that really why? I think, I mean, I'm sure we'll find out the real reason why. I'm assuming it's just because they were like, oh, he's scared to come out because Thanos beat his ass in the first five minutes. Yeah, who beats the Hulk? But I'm a, but he gets beaten a lot. Like, I mean, literally in, in, in the Edward Norton Hulk movie, he gets the shit kicked out of him constantly. He's really a bad Hulk. And then he didn't That do was the, Edward Norton's fault. Yeah. I li you know what? I liked Edward Norton. Too bad just crazy. fine. It is weird that he could have been... The Hulk. He could have been the Hulk this whole time. This whole time. I think that he makes a better scientist in some respects. But also, I just... He's not as likable. Who? Ed Norton over... Uh, Ed. Over Mark Ruffalo? I think Mark Ruffalo is adorable. I, like I love Rumpled I love nothings. that about him. Yeah. Danielle said that Mark Ruffalo is a rumpled nothing. Mark R Rumpolo is what oh. she referred to him as. Oh, oh no... I like Mark Rumpolo, although I do think that he, he was he, he was not as great as you were saying, Danielle, once in Thor Ragnarok. He was a little bit too weird. Why do you not like? Why do you hate Mark Ruffalo? Why do you hate Mark Ruffalo, Danielle? What did Mark Ruffalo do to you? What did wait Mark? Wait, 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 Danielle. What did Mark Ruffalo do to you? 
Danielle. Danielle, what did Mark Ruffalo do to you? Edward Norton's a pretty good Hulk. I like oh, it as well. Oh, mother fudge. Can you get it through? Oh, you have to go on the side of it. Yeah, I guess I do. This is, this is, you know, like, this is a, a real challenge, I gotta say. Can, you can't control the arrow unless you're standing right on top, correct? Right. Shit. Balls. You got this, buddy. You know what? That, no, ah! no. I gotta, I know what I gotta do, actually. Put my money on the wrong horse. Oh, did you now? <laughs> Who'd you think was going to beat this? Markiplier? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Do they beat games? I don't know. I know he beats... Um... His meat? No. <laughs> well... <laughs> he... I mean, probably. I mean, okay. He if... He's a hard-working <laughs> guy. If anyone deserves it, it's definitely him. But Look, are, wait. Are you saying that there's some sort of like threshold to deserving to beat your own meat? No, because if there was, I would be incredibly successful for the amount that I beat my meat. <laughs> I would be the Bill Gates <laughs> of, of J&O. <laughs> the Bill Gates of J&O. The B yeah, I'm, the, uh, I'm Bill Gates of jacking off. <laughs> They're like, sir, this, you're, we, this interview's over. I, I, it's, it's hard, yeah. It's, it's dude... I don't like the phrase beating your meat because, like, it's not that violent of an act. At least not for me. <laughs> At least not for me. I mean, I'm a gentle lover to myself. You gotta be. Yeah. Oh, I see we don't want to keep going on this topic, apparently. Fuck, Thanks, no, guys. I'm sorry. It's not that. I just, I gotta concentrate. No! Yeah, so do I, if you know what I mean. Mother... F <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> well, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's not that violent of an act. I always, I've, I've taken to just using J-O now. Yeah, and term. we all use J-O-ing a lot now, thanks to you. Thanks a lot. Hey, you're welcome. We've really just added it to our lexicon. <laughs> your lexicon? Yeah, lexicon. A lexicon is about, it's a convention you go to about words you like to use. Are you a lexicon or a lexicant? I'm a lexicon. Oh. I went to jail for the words I used. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Damn it. Bye. <laughs> 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 That's the thing that Danielle and I do a lot whenever like we drop something or something rolls away from us or like it just we just say goodbye to it like children. Bye <laughs> bye. -bye. <laughs> we don't have any other option. What? Get it? That's stupid. Yeah, no. Thank you. Oh. No, thank you, ma'am or, or sir. God, this is so much. So much is happening right now, guys, in the world. Not just this. Yeah. But and also in society. Politically, there's socially. A, there's a new iPhone. There is a new iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Which I will not be getting. I'm done with that. I lived through 10 generations of iPhones. That's, a, that's kind of... Maybe when someone says, I will not see you for a million generations. Like, if they're counting iPhone generations, it's like, I won't see you for, like, two months. <laughs> Maybe three. If Bill Jobs wants more money. Oh, that Bill Jobs. Bill Jobs, my favorite fake computer entrepreneur. <laughs> Where did Bill Jobs come from? <laughs> we just saw Bill Jobs in something else. Or someone said that's it. That's not a th Kim said it. Kim said it. Okay, that's where it was Because it was like, it was something about phones, and she's like, isn't that what Bill Jobs did? Wait, what happened? Oh, it got broke. It. And I was like... What, who's Bill Jobs? And she was like, the guy who invented. <laughs> the guy who invented. And then, and then, she, and then she stopped, and her brain was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, having a baby. This makes is the you fish stupid. all over again. <laughs> like being right having a baby makes you dumb. <laughs> That's what I've learned from Kim. <laughs> it's like, it's like, ah, oh, has her personality changed? Oh, she's dumber. Here's the thing that was really funny and cute was when Kim was over here last weekend. Like we hear her talk about like the baby. Like she loves the kid. Yeah. Uh, CPS. She loves her child. <laughs> But she literally hasn't slept more than, like, three hours a night since she had the little monster. But, like, and so when, when she comes over with it, I'm just like, oh, man, it'll be interesting to see if she really hates her kid. Yeah. But, no, she's, <laughs> she's just, she's very sweet to it. She'll, like, Mike had the baby in another room. I like how you say it almost like you're completely right. She's really, Look, like, really sweet. Like, I, I, I don't know what to make of it. Have you listened or watched any of the episodes where she talks about the kid where she's like, eh, he might get cancer. Whatever. I hope he gets fucking, what, what kind of cancer did she? hope he got leukemia leukemia <laughs> what? that was one of my favorite moments <laughs> too was... you weren't there for that but she was like oh yeah you know i saw this kid he had leukemia and it was really cute because he really loved his mom <laughs> and then i i waited for a second 
for like you know. I, wa- I waited for what to me felt like twenty minutes, but really it was like thirty seconds. I was like, if I just wait <laughs> <laughs> and just let no sound happen, and sure enough. Kim goes. The impact of what I kind of hope Pip gets leukemia. <laughs> you and just, I'm like, you, bl- you planted the seed. I was. I didn't do anything. She did it all herself. <laughs> I was just there. You just, you let it germinate. I was like, if I just if I just hold on, she's gonna she's gonna make the magic happen herself. <laughs> it's like when you put a monkey in a room with a typewriter. Eventually, it's gonna fucking write some Shakespeare. Yep. Eventually, you just let Kim leave her to her own devices, and she'll say something horrifying. Yep. <laughs> But no, I was saying like she every like five minutes, like while she was recording, she'd be like, "Where's my baby, baby? I love you, baby." Yeah, I was like, "This is creepier than her saying she wants her kid to get leukemia." This yeah, is- yeah, I was like, "Oh, Cam, you are different. This is gross. You don't act this way about cats. You hate your cats. Yeah, by comparison. Yeah." I mean, uh, you know, she hasn't talked much about her cats lately. Yeah, they're in all these. Fo- she just uses them for like the babies in all the, the horoscope meow photos now. Oh, really? Like all the horoscope meow stuff is the cats plus baby. Oh, wow. I had no idea. That's not what I subscribed for. I didn't subscribe <laughs> for fucking horoscope. So I have unfollowed uh, horoscope meow yeah. on Instagram. <laughs> now it's all this fucking stupid baby they, shit. It really changed. Yeah, the, you know, this fucking. This fucking Instagram sold out ever since the creator had her fucking stupid kid. I came to see fortune telling about cats. <laughs> and by God, if I'm going to get it, we expect me to go. Cat Cleo dot. Um, Is that a thing? No. Cat Cleo? I bailed out on the bit halfway through because I'm like, there's a part of my brain like, what are you, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? You don't have a, you don't have a thing for this. <laughs> this, we didn't plan this through all the way. There's no funny way this can end. Bail out now. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of times when we record this show where <laughs> I'll start saying something, or I'll think about saying something, and then like my brain fast forwards to two two seconds ahead, and it's like, all right, so what's your end game exactly? <laughs> it's like time stands still, and like the battle inversion of you comes out. Like, what are you doing? Where is this going? Oh, it was the end. I have that sometimes with people I talk to, but not like I was saying something funny because that doesn't happen too often, uh-huh. but more so that like I was saying something and I forget that I'm talking to like a coworker and not Danielle or you or something. Yeah. And like, and like my usual rule for like socialization with people I'm comfortable with is like, I try to say, you know, like the, the, the funniest thing I can think of or oh. the, the most clever thing or try to say something like, you know, that's fun that people yeah. can play with. Right. Um, but that usually is something that's also like horrifying to like somebody who doesn't know me personally. Yeah. And then I have to keep stopping myself from saying like, the thing God. that I say. You're like, man, my my uh my crotch pimples are really acting up right now. Am I right? Ha <laughs> <laughs> up top. <laughs> anyway, it's about my mom. Yeah, so uh hate my mom. Anyway, hi. Yeah. How's uh, how was your lunch? What'd you have? A, a lunchable? Yeah, I remember the last time my mom packed me a lunchable. It was last never. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm fired. Whee! Cool. I'm in HR. I can't get fired. That was a close one. Well, I guess tomorrow we'll do more adventuring. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Bye, everybody.